Marlins hosting the Orioles. The Orioles are minus 150 on the money line. The Marlins are plus 125. The over under eight and a half runs. The Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five and five against each other. The home team's on a five-game winning streak. The home team is 8-2. and two. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The, the underdog, though, getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been five one-run games in their last 10. The over is hit in their last three. The over is 7-3, and three, and the over 8.5 runs is 7-3. and three. The Marlins are 3-2 and two in Cabrera's last five starts. The over has hit in his last five starts. Three and a third innings pitched, 3.8 hits, 3.8 runs, 3.6 of which were earned, 4.4 strikeouts, 2.8 walks, 1.6 home runs. He's given up a home run in every one of his last five starts. 75 pitches per game, 22.1 pitches per inning. The Orioles are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4, 10 runs, 12 runs, 5 runs, 9 runs. 9 runs in a win, 8 runs in a win, 2 runs in a loss, 3 runs in a loss. Their bats got cold all of a sudden. The Marlins are 4-6 and six in their last 10, 1 run, 6 runs, 10 runs, 9 runs. Shut out in a loss, 4 runs in a win, 4 runs in a loss, and then 6 runs in a win. I'm going to take... I'll take the Orioles in this one. Orioles with the money line, Marlins getting the runs, and the over, and we'll see if this game gets a little bit closer towards the end of it because of the bullpens. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.